Yes, after she was three years already in prison, that they, they thought, well, why couldn't we find out someone that could look at those animal hairs again, which were found? Uh, and uh, so they went to the university, to the library, and they just typed in the word hair, and out came straight away my book, The Identification of Mammalian Hair, my name on the book and thought, well, this is the chap if he got the hunt up. And they looked for me and found me in Frankston. And out of the blue, I had an evening, I had a call, and they asked, you're Hans Brunner? I said, yes. And you published that book, The Identification of Animal Hair? I said, yes. They said, you got to come to Canberra and look at some hairs. And that time, I still didn't know why. They said, it's about the Chamberlain case. I thought, I better take my microscope with me. And I went up with the microscope and they let me, you know, to, 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 to the storeroom there where they kept everything about Lindy Chamberlain's business. And uh, I examined that they had to prepare some uh, glass slides that fitted under the microscope and, and I, I looked at them very quickly. It didn't take me very long because I knew straight away what I was looking at. And then I turned around and they scared at me and hungry looking. What? What does he say? That was. And then I said, both slides had the same hairs on it, they were the same hairs, and I identified them as dog hairs, but there is an extension. Fortunately, I had all those pictures, micro pictures in my book, and I knew straight away, you know, there was just a perfect match with those hairs, with dingo hairs, and I told them that. said, uh, what about cat hairs? And I didn't know about that story. I said, cat hairs? My cat hairs? No way. No, absolutely not the same. Mm. And then they said, I have to go to uh, Sydney and to the court there and uh, they, so, talk. Uh, and, and give, told them about, tell them about the difference between dingo hair and cat hair. That there's a police there. That uh, there's no way that there could be cat hairs. And uh, of course, that was it.
They're actually looking well. Well, well, they, they, they say I look a bit younger than what I am. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Before, it's not a bad effort. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten years older than I am. Yeah, yeah. See, only a baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I remember you used to be in the Swiss yodeling club. Yes. And you were a terrific yodeler. Ah, but, but you know, now... After the stroke the and the everything, house. my yeah, voice my is to totally on, gone. Yeah. Uh, it it used to I go. La la! Yeah! I yodeled for you when we were driving together sometimes to put the cassette on in the car so we That's right. Good old times. Yeah, Hans. Go. Yeah, And my job was then to find out what dingoes, wild dogs, foxes and cats are eating, what animals. And that's where I started actually identifying animal hairs. The dingoes at Keith Turnbull Research Institute, they used to howl at night time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody in the neighborhood knows that they are there. That's right. Yeah. And they yodeled. They've learned it from me with yodeling. <laughs> you know, if, 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 we were, if, if we were good partners with yodeling. <laughs> That's Rene Moore, a research officer from Keith Turnbull Research Institute in Frankston. And he was working together with me there, doing research. And then there was that big day when I went to, just late in the afternoon, when I found out that they found this the singlet and jumpsuit from the little baby girl from Lindy Chamberlain's daughter up at the base of Uluru. And I decided I would like to go and have a look and see what I can find there. Because we have dingoes in, in our reserve. And so I rang the police in the North Territory and I asked him, could I come up and inspect the area where those clothes are and see whether I can find anything that has to do with dingoes? Because it would... And then he said, oh no, that can't be done. 
she scooped you anyhow, wow. and he hung up on me. And you remember, I've told you that on the way home. You did, yeah. You drove me home, and, and, and uh, I must have had a bit of a long face. And I said, yes, well, I talked to that police, and he hung up on me. Mm. And I wanted to find out what happened up there. Mm. And uh, because three years later, I found out, realized that had I really been able to mm. go and look at that site and look at those clothes, I could have found the yes. animal hairs myself yes. and I would have looked at the dingo, uh, identified them as dingo hairs and Lindy Chamberlain would never have had to go mm. to prison at all. No. And, and, and yet, there you are. That, mm. that, that's the way things happen. Mm, that was an absolute tragedy. Yeah. Yes, I remember you were, yeah. you were pretty uh, down the dumps about it. You, were, yeah. you weren't happy at all but because no. you, you knew you could have proved her to be innocent and uh, you were very disappointed in the case. Well, it was in the beginning a surprise and, and, and I was wondering whether it was worth, you know, to take a picture of me or something, but as it grew and, and we carried on, it, it, it really, I was really excited and couldn't wait for the, the next thinking to, to be stared at and looked at and, and, and then passed on with the brush onto the painting and, and as it grew, as it went along and uh, I, I really thought this is something that uh, changed my life quite differently bring out of me something which there wasn't properly put out, out, out of me earlier the, the future lies in my painting. I might be gone, but the painting still goes on. And, and the story will be told. Sometimes I've been hidden away with my involvement with the Chamberlain case. This picture is going to tell a story of thousand words sort of thing. Uh, what I've been doing and it's some and it'll be some history it will be some history that be, because that will always refer to that uh, what happened it enriched my life and enormously since you came in and started to use your brush busy on the I think, yes, I, I, I was thinking, it's amazing that there's more in life than what I thought it was. <laughs> oh.